Well, this is not all that surprising, but it is a consistent record in the recent times of Walt Disney World, of woke SJW Disney, in terms of their rides and theme parks, okay? But in this particular case, uh, turns out that there's, uh, because r rides at Disney World are, are breaking down constantly, there's all kinds of lack of maintenance that's go that is, uh, has been going on for quite a while, but it, it's actually, you know, delving into actually posing health risks to the guests. And here is one such example of that. I mean, this is quite embarrassing when you think about it for a multi-billion dollar company that just the lack of maintenance. But check this out. This is on Inside the Magic. It says, guests stuck waiting for a broken down Disney ride allegedly risk heat stroke. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway open as part of the Toontown renovation at Disney Park at Disneyland Park in January. The Southern California version of the ride premiered years after the original located in the Chinese Theater in Disney's Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World Resort. Yeah, <laughs> that is pretty bad for a multi-billion dollar company. Essentially guests who are paying through the roof because I mean the prices are just over, just through the roof already. So you're paying through the roof and now you're gonna end up basically risking heat stroke just to go on some ride. <laughs> yeah, and people wonder why, you know, you kind of wonder why, well, there, there actually are those who actually wonder why people are flocking to Universal now. Well, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't really pay to have heat stroke either, but it says in the article, many Disneyland Resort guests have reported issues with the attraction since its grand opening. Some have problems booking virtual queue times and individual lightning lanes, while others complain of frequent breakdowns. One uh, visitor alleges that Disney Land Resort version that the Disneyland Resort version of the Mickey of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which uh, manufactured differently than Walt Disney World Resort's version, uh, marking sorry making for more technological issues. Yeah, and you know, any experienced repairman uh, who has a lot of experience, and even those who just don't have any kind of experience, you know, can just blatantly see that just the lack of maintenance is a problem. You know, I mean, really. The lack of maintenance is actually not only dangerous, but I mean, all of this can be fixed, but you see, apparently a multi-billion dollar company can't afford to just get some more maintenance people on the job. Or maybe they just refuse to, who knows, but either way, it's pretty bad. <laughs> and rather dangerous too, by the way. But it says in the article, on Wednesday, a trapped guest took to social media to reveal another dangerous issue with Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Reddit user Forced Fan uh, reported being stuck at the ride queue for over an hour while the ride broke down with no air conditioning. They called the experience brutal. This it, this thing isn't ready for prime time, they alleged. Now, I, I'm kind of wondering too, I mean, I'm not American, I'm, I'm you know, over in Canada, but I've always wondered too if there's any kind of legal implications too of having a, a dangerous, something dangerous like that open to the public. I mean, because clearly the thing needs more maintenance, if not full on just repairs. But of course, this has been a problem for quite a while. But again, the paying guest is the one that suffers, not just, you know, losing their time, but also risks their health too. But what is to be expected from woke SJW Disney, now it seems like. Uh, it says in the article, other guests reported similar issues, including a lack of cell service in the line. Uh, he says, quote, they also need to add cell service into the queue for when the ride goes down for hours. And you know, uh, Lanky Emergency 7992 wrote, quote, this is the only queue at the park that seems to block the signal for some reason. It is unknown if the lack of air conditioning at the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is intentional or related to the ride's breakdown. The attraction is operating normally at the time of this article's publication. Yeah, and who knows how long before it just breaks down again. You know, I mean, seriously, any kind of responsible, you know, manager would, would either call repairmen or, you know, call some more maintenance people. But because any, any sane person just knows that the lack of maintenance is the key issue here. But of course, you know, uh, guests are risking their own health. I mean, yeah, I'm mean, calling heat stroke, you know, essentially you're paying to get heat stroke. But, you know, this is a constant record now. And again, you wonder why people are flocking to Universal Studios, you know, to, you know, essentially flock into Universal where they don't have to worry about you know, risking their own health just to go on a ride. It's 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 pretty embarrassing that a multi-billion dollar company, I know, I'm kind of going on a rabbit trail uh, and repeating myself a few times, but this is pretty embarrassing for a multi-billion dollar company. But, you know, it, hey, it, it's to be expected when you essentially have lazy leadership at the upper echelon. So anyway, I could go off on a huge rant about that, but I'm not going to bother. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.